I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then the fifth time he cared about everyone he was the kind of guy you wanted to be around he was a world class bullshitter he was my best friend to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't. I didn't hear Gabe make the call. But he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like 
It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. <laughs> Watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, hell. I'm just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me interview. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? Wake's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? For now. We'll see how long that lasts. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We. Yeah. What? Yeah, 
actually kept it. made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. what's really going on with Steph. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. An overpowered blue meteor? Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I moved to Denver next week. You what? What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass! <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost? 50 bucks. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. a quick match. Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. 
Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No. I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh. Is that how it is? Wait. Hold on. The crowd is really picking up on my energy. Ah, we love you, Alex! Ah, Strip sucks! Ah. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> I want a rematch. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know Gabe would be all about his playing like this. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. Who's what? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. Much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. 
I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back, no matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Thanks, Jed. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. I wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. I don't have a choice. He was my brother. I have to at least try. Yeah, you do. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like.
What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. The park looks fun to explore. And word around the water cooler is the mining co Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I'm okay. Keeping my chin up. Sometimes that's all you can do. How about you? can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Is he all right? He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death 
escape. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you going to sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? I don't think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call, and I'm going to prove it. I just... I need some time. Thanks for being honest. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, okay. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked. Talk about the accident? How would I know that? Fuck, now I'm on Diane's shit list. Thanks, Diane. Sorry about today. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes, we're all suffering here. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Oh, it's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her, getting sick of people feeling bad for me.
Haven listeners, that was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. Helpful. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. The Spring Festival is just around the corner. Sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. There's beauty and simplicity. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Let's go with distortion field. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. Just want to be friends. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. Is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Okay, time to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. If they know, if they about, know my about my condition, they'll make me close, make this, me place. close this place. Thanks. 
Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, out. find out. Holy shit. just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. Did you trim these flowers today? I... don't remember. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be alright on my own. Hey. I'm not going anywhere. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Did you trim these flowers today? I... don't remember. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness, what was the order for? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night.
fresh order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan. Huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex, you're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God, she doesn't remember. You know Jed. Probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Promise. She was finally feeling better. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Too bad I can't just run away from all this. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your chicken coop? Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? Drop the act. I know you've been lying about that night. You don't know shit. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can... Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey.
I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no. And that we were done. And now... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley. Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah both of us. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Good. He's scared. Time to find out the truth. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. 
Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's not fair! I didn't do anything wrong! It should have been you instead! Alex? to me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. You might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck up makes you guilty too. You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? All right, Mac, come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Thanks. 
I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> So, what are you going to do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm going to get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. 
he would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. That guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something... You should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Think of something that makes you so angry, you just want to scream. You can really focus until you feel it. The wasted potential. You're angry for me for Ethan and Charlotte, for everyone who had their futures with Gabe stolen. Wish you could have been there with us. There was no one in the world more fun to be around. <laughs> Man, this one time, Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? <laughs> together. <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> Oh, that 
That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> So, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? So, I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before, but... That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're welcome, I guess. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you.
This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Please. 